Welcome to a very sunny day in my back garden. The weather is very nice. I'm Justin Garner and this week we're going to be talking about light meters. So I'm excited um, because in the next few weeks I'm going to be learning how to um, produce film and when I say that I mean analog film as in taking pictures of stills. So in order to do that the first step is um, doing light meter readings and I've got a selection of light meters but I don't know which one I'm going to like the best and also I don't know how accurate they are so we're going to do a bit of a test today to see how they work to see which one I like and also to see how accurate they are and the different functions that they have. So uh, the first one I've got here is uh, called a Western Master 2. So we're gonna have a look at that one. Uh, I've got this other one here and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing these right. It's called a Gosen uh, Luna 6F. This takes a battery. And then I've got this electronic one uh, which I use for my uh, doing work in the studio uh, when clients ask me to um, measure the light accurately and this is a fully digital one uh, but we're going to use it in the in the bulb mode on the top here in daylight and um, so we're going to use that as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test these out um, against themselves and see if they come up with the same readings so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do it in daylight like now outside we're going to do it indoors as well and we're going to do it when it goes dark in the dark um, and we're going to have the same setting so we're going to have it set at 2.8 and then we'll do a meter reading there and then we'll look at the meter reading is at f9 as well and we'll do that across the uh, board so let's find out what the readings are so first up we've got this western um, master 2 um, so this has no batteries at all. Uh, I really like it, it looks really cool, uh, really retro, and I was given this by, uh, by a friend at a camera club I used to uh, attend. Um, so um, what's quite neat about this is it's got this function here which is kind of natural, like natural light, but then on the back if it's low light conditions you can pull this down and this acts as a kind of guard and then it opens it up to this kind of prism. Um, and then it also drops down the uh, numbers. If you see, see there, the numbers drop down like that. Um, so it's quite a neat and cool kind of uh, light meter. So what we've done is we've got this film speed at 200. The film speed's like the ISO, really. Um, and it's just how uh, sensitive the film is. Um, so we set that to 200. And then we're going to do a light meter reading of what the light's like here. And I'm reading that at 50. So what we'll do is we'll change the arrow and we'll move it all the way around to 50. And then we'll look at what the settings are. So on this edge here, there's a load of numbers that we will look at. Okay, so you can see here at f2.8 that it's saying it's... Um, one thousand two hundredth of a second and then if we look at f9 we are on a hundred and fiftieth of a second so next up we've got this Gosen Luna 6F now this takes uh, a 9 volt battery um, and this works slightly different um, to um, the Western Master 2 um, what it has on here it has this dome um, and that's, this takes the light in and it spreads it evenly onto this sensor. Uh, I think when you take it away, this is more directional, but we're just going to be doing the ambient light and we can point this up like that. And then what, you, what we first need to do is set the film speed again. So we are going to set this to 200. So we just turn it, so it says 200 in there. And then we're going to measure the light. And how you do this on the side, there's an activation button and you activate it. So we activate it like that and it's going way over. And then what we do is we zero it. So we turn this dial round so it goes to zero and then we take the reading. So with this light meter, we've, we've took the reading, we've moved uh, the uh, dial in the right place. At 2.8, it's saying it's at 
just under, I'd say, uh, probably about four hundredth of a second. And then at F9, which is just here, I would say that's probably about a fiftieth of a second. What's great about this meter is it gives you the stops. If you want to change the stops, you can work out if you want to underexpose or overexpose your um, the, the light meter in. So next in line, we've got this uh, digital Sirconic light meter, and I use this for doing my flash photography. I've got it set to daylight mode, and the daylight's red through this uh, dome here. Um, and then you've got directional, um, which is like that. So we want it set across, so even light goes on here. Now how this works is when you arm it on the side there, once you arm it like we will, it'll take a reading and then you go up and down through the f-stops we've got it set to ISO 200 so that our little test with the other light meters is all the same so now we'll just do a reading at f9 and it's saying a 60th of a second and then if we go all the way down to 2.8 and at 2.8 it's saying it's 600th of a second so there are readings with the digital light meter So we've moved inside now to test three meters with indoor lighting and we're using natural light from this window. So first up is the Western Master 2 and we're going to just look at the reading and it's not taking a reading there so we'll turn it over and we'll use this low light reading and it's coming up at 1.6 and I shine it there about 1.6 so we'll turn this to 1.6 like that's so here's the reading so at 2.8 it's saying a 50th of a second and at f9 it's saying a fifth of a second so we'll look at the lunar six and we just hold that up take a reading and it's not even there so we've got to turn this one up to get it to zero so here we've got at 2.8 i would say that's 20th of a second and at f9 which is about here i'd say that was half a second so let's try the Sirconic so we just turn this on and we'll just take a reading and uh, the reading at f9 is four seconds and the reading at 2.8 is 40 seconds Okay, so this is the final test. We're going to test the light meters out outside my front door, just using this wind, this uh, outside light. Um, so we're just going to measure the light using them two settings as well. I will have to turn off my light for um, recording this light in me, just so I get this light on its own. So we'll take the readings, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, with the Western Master Two, um, we've got this at. 2.8 it's saying it's 30th of a second and then at f9 it's saying um, a third of a second okay so with the lunar 6 we're looking at f2.8 is about one and a half seconds and at f9 it's about eight seconds and then finally with the Sirconic at 2.8 it's saying 4 seconds now if you just move it up just take a look move it up to f f9 in the wrong way it's saying 2.5 seconds So in conclusion, um, I feel like uh, the 
results of the three different um, light meters uh, were not accurate in themselves but I know where they stand so I know this is a lot darker readings whereas this is in the middle and this is slightly above so it kind of puts me in good stead to where they are also I have a better understanding of how to use these um, my knowledge of light meter readings or using them is quite limited because I'm quite new to doing this and um, so if I've been using these wrong and um, then do do leave a comment and um, because I yeah I might be using them wrong that might be why some of the results are the way they were and um, I do want to get a spot light meter just to get accurate readings on the screen rather than doing this which is just the ambient light I'd like to spot meter parts of uh, the image I'm really excited for next week where I'm going to be actually loading film in here and shooting the film as well. I'm going to be using medium format 120 film and it's going to be black and white. I'm going to be using this which is a, a twin reflex uh, camera. Uh, it's called the Mamiya C3 which I love the fact it looks dead retro. The other thing that appeals to me about doing film photography is the fact that you do every step yourself. You do the metering yourself work the camera out because it's fully awesome like you do it all yourself fully manual I should be saying um, and also you have to develop it yourself so not next week but the week after I'm going to be developing film and this is for the first time I've never done this before so we'll see if I've light meted correctly and got some good images and also we'll see if I can even produce any images as well so dead excited for the next couple of weeks if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to find out what I'm doing in the next few weeks, which we know. Uh, and also, if you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. I've been Justin Garner. I hope you've enjoyed this one, and I'll see you again soon.